Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girlfriend Ilungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Um, I hope you guys are doing all right and welcome back. If there's something that you guys want us to react to, drop the link down below and we'll be more than glad to react to it. Please drop the link, not just the name, the link as well also help us uh, go the path that you want us to go, react to the video that you actually want us to react to, than just going to a channel and choosing what we want to react to so please do that by dropping the link we'll be more than glad to do it for you. if you're too shy to drop the link here find us on instagram and facebook we'll go by the name funny and jesse and suggest there feel free to be friends with us share knowledge with us say hi to us we'll say hi back to you uh, so today i'm going to be reacting to what happened before humans descended to earth so without wasting time let's get into the video Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala narrates the story of the creation in the Quran in many places. And in one of them, Allah mentions after creating Adam alayhi salam that he commanded the angels to prostrate themselves before Adam as a sign of honoring, dignifying this new creation, Adam alayhi salam. And Shaitan was in the company of the angels, although he was from the jinn. As Allah said, Illa Iblisa kana min al jinn. He's not an angel, but he was in the company of the angels and he was worshipping at a very exceptional level. And he was included in the command to prostrate before Adam, yet he rejected, he declined. He defied and challenged the Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says, وَإِذْ قُلْنَا لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ اسْجُدُوا لِآدَمَ فَسَجَدُوا إِلَّا إِبْلِيسِ قَالَ أَأَسْجُدُوا لِمَنْ خَلَقْتَ طِينًا Remember when your Lord commanded the angels to prostrate before Adam and they did except for Satan, Iblis. He said, do you want me to prostrate myself before a creation that is made of mud? That's the beginning of the story with shaitan. There's no history to the story. It just starts with shaitan having envy towards this new creation. And then when Allah commands the angels to prostrate, shaitan objects. He refuses. Then he promises. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, لَإِنْ أَخَّرْتَنِي إِلَىٰ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ لَأَحْتَنِكَنَّ ذُرِّيَّتَهُ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا If you make me live till the day of judgment, I shall take control of his descendants, of this creation and his descendants. I shall harness them. Except for a few of them. And this is why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in the hadith, إِنَّ الشَّيْطَانَ قَعَدَ لِبْنِ آدَمَ بِأَطْرُقِهِ كُلِّهَا Shaytan has ambushed the son of Adam in every turn of his path. Shaytan is lying in wait for all of us. He has devoted his life, dedicated his whole existence to the destruction of humanity. He vowed to destroy Adam and his descendants. So we are in this life on a path, on the path to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yet the path is not clear. There is an enemy, a sworn enemy, who's not gonna leave you even for a second. وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ اسْجُدُوا لِآدَمَ فَسَجَدُوا إِلَّا إِبْلِيسَ قَالَ أَأَسْجُدُوا لِمَنْ خَلَقْتَ طِينَ Do you want me to prostrate? to this mud creation? أسجد لمن خلقت طينا قال أرأيتك هذا الذي كرمت علي لإن أخرتني إلى يوم القيامة لا أحتنك النذريته إلا قليلا Do you see this creation that you honored over me? That's how he's speaking to Allah. If you give me life till the day of judgment, I shall take control of them. I shall lead them like animals are led. 
I shall harness them, except for a few. Allah says, Idhab. Faman tabi'aka minhum fa inna jahannama jaza'ukum jaza'un mawfura. Allah says, Go, be gone. Whoever follows you from among them, Jahannam, the hellfire, will be your abode, and enough it is for you, for the wrongdoers. وَأَجْلِبْ عَلَيْهِمْ بِخَيْلِكَ وَرَجْلِكَ And march towards them. Mobilize against them. Your cavalry and your infantry. All types of your soldiers. وَأَجْلِبْ عَلَيْهِمْ بِخَيْلِكَ وَرَجْلِكَ وَشَارِكْهُمْ فِي الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَوْلَادِ وَعِدُهُمْ وَمَا يَعِدُهُمُ الشَّيْطَانُ إِلَّا غُرُورًا And share with them their wealth and their children. You'll be able to mix with them. You will be able to share their experience and manipulate their experience and contaminate their life, every aspect of their life. You're given this as a test for humans. But the ones who take protection, true protections in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be protected from that. وَعِدْهُمْ and promise them and the promise of shaitan is but deception. So shaitan has decided from day one that he has no business, no concern, no goal, no plan, but show to destroy you. Throughout the journey of this life, he's lying in wait. He's planning ahead of you. And that's why Allah says, Inna shaitan lakum aduwun fattakhiduhu aduwa. Shaitan is truly an enemy to you, so take him as an enemy. Be aware of the fact that you are in a war. Indeed, Shaitan is a clear enemy for man. There's no moment in your life where you are safe from the plotting and the attacks of Shaitan. You're under attack all time. And the Prophet ﷺ told us, because some people think shaitan only whispers. Many of us go through this life not aware of shaitan. Not aware of shaitan, not taking shaitan into account. He just whispers. But we don't realize how involved shaitan is in our lives, in your thoughts, in your emotions, in your desires, in your experiences. The Prophet ﷺ says, the Prophet ﷺ says, the wiping out of my ummah, and many of the commentators on the hadith, they say this is the generation of the companions. A lot of the generation of the companions would die, would be annihilated, their life would end because of two main reasons. Because of warfare and of Ta'un, the plague. And that's a reality, that's a historical fact. Then the Prophet ﷺ explains the plague and Ta'un, and again, a matter of the unseen world that has physical manifestations, and yes, we can trace it back to germs, bacteria, viruses, etc. But there's a deeper reality to that. The Prophet ﷺ says about Ta'un, فَنَاءُ أُمَّتِي بِالطَّعْنِ وَالطَّعُونَ وَخْزُ أَعْدَائِكُمْ مِنَ الْجِنِّ It is the stabbing of your enemies from among the jinn. And again, these are the evil jinn, the shayateen. What does that mean? This life is a battlefield between good and evil, between you and shaitan. And if you're not aware of that, you're just an easy target for your enemy. As simple as that, you don't take precautions. So it's important to be aware of that. That's why Allah mentions shaitan so many times in the Quran. It doesn't mean we're helpless. It just means we need to be aware of that. We need to seek the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we need to do whatever we can to deserve this protection from Allah so we are protected against shaitan.
it's a very interesting watch i'm just thinking um i was going to say please um shaitan she didn't just be shaitan shaitan you understand if that makes sense shaitan could be sometimes the people we surround ourselves with because we don't know who wants what for us in life we think we shouldn't think that everyone has pure intention intentions yes there's people around us with pure intentions and there's those that are just that come into our lives to misguide us those ones i think should be put in this category reason being because they're leading us from the path the writer's path to something else which is not okay why not just leave someone be do you understand um we're always sometimes we fight battles that we don't know sometimes people are plotting against us we don't even know or whatever out there in the world is plotting us plotting against us but we're not aware that's why if you have time to talk to your creator please talk to your creator that's why i will always say and still stand by my statement of saying I admire how muslims are constantly uh, praying or pray five times at least reason being that even if someone is plotting against you there's that prayer that comes in now imagine if you go a day without speaking to your creator what happens when someone is plotting against you what would the results be sometimes our end is not nice but as as long as we have a protector to us at least we have a protector that created us let's always tend to him whatever we want not just when we need protection not only when we need um blessings in life let's turn to god whenever we feel like put it put train yourself to always feel like you need to converse with god is what i'm saying not when you feel like because some people will feel like a year from now so so don't mean misunderstand me let me know what you guys actually think about shaitan and all these things that happened during then also i wanted to ask before i forget i wanted to ask so is this where jealousy came from or started from not came from but started from let me know if you guys know the answer to that uh if there's something you want me to react to drop the link down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video